Hi everyone, John from Trophy Fishing Tackle. Today I want to show you how to splice some holocore spectra. A couple of weeks ago we showed you how to do an end loop in holocore spectra. Today I want to show you how to do an inline splice and join two lengths of holocore spectra together. One of the big advantages of holocore spectra is that should you damage your spectra, instead of having to replace the entire spool of spectra, we can just replace the top shot and add on what you may have lost or damaged. So today we're going to be using some 130 pound Western filament holocore spectra. We're going to be using the Dayho reverse latch needle and a good pair of spectra scissors. So first thing we're going to do is pull off some hollow spectra and let's call the white spool is going to be your fishing reel. And I like to measure out 18 inches. At the 18 inch mark we're going to take our Deho reverse latch needle and we're just going to kind of open up the spectra. We're going to lay the latch needle really flat along the spectra and insert the spectra into the, uh, excuse me, it's insert the needle into the spectra. And we just kind of bunch it up on here. Now remember our tag end here is 18 inches so we can use that as a guide. Now we're going to take our feeder spool and this is going to be the line that we're going to be packing back onto our reel and this is blue in color. We open up the latch, close the latch, and now we're going to pull the blue spectra into the white spectra or the spectra from the feeder spool onto our fishing reel. We just keep on sliding on. And a good way to check the length of the splice is just flip it over and you'll see we're not quite there. So the tag end is 18 inches. We just got to go down like another three inches or so. And just to check it again to be on point, you can see we're right there at the 18 inch mark. So at the 18 inch mark, what we're going to do is take the needle, pop it out of the side of the spectra. Needle comes off the spectra. And what I like to do now, some people make an overhand knot. I think that's not really necessary. Just take the spectra and really make a hard 90 degree angle in the spectra. And that's going to keep it from going back inside of itself. Now to finish the splice, we have the two ends. This is the tag end. The white is the end that would be coming off our fishing reel. And this is the blue is our feeder line coming off our spool that we're going to use to refill the fishing reel. This is real key here now. What we're going to do is we're going to pull back the white spectra or the spectra coming off your fishing reel. We're going to just pull it back about a quarter of an inch or so. We're then going to take our reverse latch needle and we're going to insert it into the blue spectra or the feeder spool that we're using to fill our reel back up. And the colored spectras can be a little more difficult to work with. They're not dyed, they're painted kind of with a coating and sometimes the needle can be rough to go in. A trick is just take the, the spectra, kind of run it through your mouth like that and it, it usually will go in easier. And again, keep on bunching it up, up on the needle. And now what we're going to do is take the tag end, the white line, the line that is attached to our fishing reel, put it in the reverse latch needle and we're going to start working it back into the blue spectra from our feeder spool. Just keep on working it on. Once that loop disappears, we're going to be good to go with the splice. Pop the needle out of the side of the spectra. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab both ends of the spectra. So remember, I, I folded over that blue spectra a while ago and I have the white spectra in my hands. We're kind of just going to squish the spectra towards each other in the center. Okay, and then you just snap it. And once I snap it, I buried the spectra inside of itself where we came in and out. And this is this little neck down you see right here. This is really, really small area. Once again, just pull the spectra back over itself. It disappears. Pull the spectra back the other way. And it's disappeared. And here we have 
a perfectly formed inline hollow spectra splice. And again, the line is doubled for 36 inches. So people ask me, is this really strong? This is stronger than your main line. You have 130 pound spectra doubled now for three feet. So this is definitely stronger than your main line. And this will not slip out due to the cuff uh, composition of the hollow spectra, the weave pulling on each other. And we have the weave from the line from the fetus spool pulling on the line from your reel. And then we have the line from your reel pulling on the line from the fetus spool. And now we would put it on the line winder. And we would just, as you can see now, they are joined. Let's just spin them here. And there you go. So again, that's a real simple task. If you're fishing with hollow spectra, as we think everybody fishing offshore these days should be fishing with hollow spectra, this is one of those things you need to know. It just makes your fishing experience more enjoyable. It allows you to fix damaged equipment when you're offshore. Again, if you're not comfortable doing this, we could do it here at the shop for you um, really quick, most of the times while you wait. For more information about how to perform this splice, check out the information at the bottom of the YouTube video in the description section. All of the products that you've seen here in this video can be found on TrophyTackle.com. For product links and more information, check out the video's description on YouTube. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to click on the settings, then check send me updates and we will keep you up to date with the latest tips, products and fishing reports.